Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the finale of Star Wars Force and Destiny, right here on Proficiency Bonus. My name is Michael, your most horrifying Sith Lord and Game Master for the evening, uh, as we wrap up this awesome campaign uh, over the last almost two years of, of playing together. Um, so good to see all of you tonight joining us here on Proficiency Bonus for this. Uh, if you have not yet followed the channel or have not yet subscribed to our channel on YouTube, please go and do that right now. Uh, make sure you click that, uh, that follow button. If you'd like to subscribe to help support our channel, please feel free to do that if you are able. Um, we also want to thank a couple of our sponsors tonight. We want to thank uh, Twitch and Streamlabs OBS for allowing us to be affiliated with them. Uh, we also want to thank our good friends at Little Dragon Corp and Cardboard Castle Games for partnering with us. If you type in exclamation point Little Dragon or exclamation point CCG in the chat, you'll get quick links to both of their storefronts where you can purchase awesome RPG related gear. And any other place, if you use the coupon code PROBONUS or at Cardboard Castle Games, you let them know that you're friends with us or you're fans of our channel and what we do in our content, they will give you 10% off of your order uh, just for hanging out with us. Before we begin, uh, I cut a lot of this pre-stream stuff out of our YouTube content. Hey, thank you for the gifted sub, Sarah B. Um, to uh, to Dragon Warlord two two one. Thank you. Um, uh, most of this stuff that's pre-stream before we roll our uh, opening crawl is cut out of YouTube. I do that just to kind of shorten the videos uh, a little bit and to get you guys right into the action on YouTube. For this one, I am going to leave this pre-stream uh, info here uh, because from the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to say thank you uh, for all of you who have stuck with us through 40 uh, wild and crazy episodes of this campaign, uh, all the way from episode one until now, I've noticed that there is a consistent amount of you that every time we upload a new video are watching the content and uh, through your comments have been so encouraging to us over these last uh, several months. So I just wanted to thank all of you for sticking with us and supporting the channel in the way that you have. Um, you are a blessing to all of us, so thank you so much for just being here and enjoying this with us, because that's the reason that we do it. We want to, we enjoy this game together, and we want to share it with all of you. So thank you guys for all the support, and for just hanging out with us and enjoying it. Um, I did want to make a huge announcement. Episode 1 of this campaign eclipsed 10,000 views today, so... Congratulations, my friends. Uh, you're superstars. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, everybody, for helping us to achieve that uh, incredible goal um, and milestone for us. And please uh, share that video with some of your friends. You never know if they might uh, uh, catch the itch to watch more of our content as well. So make sure you share that video and uh, some of our other content as well. So thank you guys so much. Um, I also did want to say, even though this campaign is ending, uh, this is our every other Thursday night campaign, uh, coming in January 2022, we have a brand new every other Thursday campaign starting with Dungeon Master Victoria. She's going to be running Wild Beyond the Witch Light right here on the channel. So make sure you come by, stop by and see us in January when we kick back up. I know during the holidays, a lot of our streams like to take a little bit of a break. But once we kick back up in January, I'm sure there will be some announcements made on when that stream will start. You're going to want to check that stream out. It's going to be great. And my last announcement for this evening, and I know I've got a lot and I apologize, but hey, it's a finale. I got to get all this out there. Uh, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, we are having our finale of our Shadowrun uh, campaign, which was a relatively short campaign that we ran with our Friday group just to give us a little bit of a break from Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition every once in a while. Um, to try a new setting and to try something different. So if you'll join us for that, it'll be tomorrow right here on Proficiency Bonus, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I already rolled my triggered morality, and rather than write it down on a card, I decided to take a photograph on my phone, and I will share it with you guys at the end of the session. Um, that being said, I we are not going to re-roll our destiny pool tonight because we are in the middle of combat. 
and I thought uh, for this instance it would be appropriate for us to keep our destiny pools exactly how they are uh, which is right now I believe it's five light side three dark side is the balance so that's where we're going to start tonight um, <laughs> Sarah B in chat no more finales Michael <laughs> <laughs> one more just one more just one more um so does anybody have anything that we need to say anything we need to do before we roll our opening crawl can we just give like another shout out to uh sister skull kid sister sister's rain for mm. uh those incredible art that they gave us Absolutely. they are incredible Yes, Go check them out on, Twitter, on uh, Twitch. Follow them. They're great. Yes, you can We'd check you. out, like, right here. Like, all this on awesome character art. Yes. Sister Skull Kid. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> we love you. Take our love. Uh, great. Yeah, you're amazing. Yeah, amazing, amazing art. Yes. Uh, com get commissioned. Like, go, go get yeah, more art. Great. It's so worth the commission. It's worth yes. it. And then some. Um, it was fun to watch the art get made. Yeah. That was really cool. I loved that. I thought it was awesome getting to be able to tune in on live Twitch and watch yeah. the process. Yes. That was amazing. I had a lot, ton of fun like just tuning in. Yeah. There were some times I was like kind of still at work and I was like tuning in and I shouldn't have been. But, <laughs> you know, I was like, this is awesome. So, Wow. How dare you make me feel real emotions? <laughs> where you are like one of the pillars of the, like the Star Wars community, and we love you so much. And it's because of your support that we've gotten this far. So thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna kick off our finale, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll our opening crawl to get us in. So here we go. Tizo, a little disoriented, you look down and you catch eyes with Kyra. Some memories flash back in your mind of her when you guys were training together in the Jedi Temple a while ago, before tragedy struck. But something's different about her now. Her eyes seem to be shaded and darkened. She doesn't seem quite like the Kyra you once remembered. But stunned, a um, little bit of blood kind of leaking off of her side of her lip, she just looks towards you. And Raven, technically you can, if you'd like to spend 
some strain, you can take an additional maneuver if you'd like to. If not, uh, that will be the end of your turn as you just blasted her with your disruptor pistol. Uh, where am I in relation to everybody? Uh, you're still in. You're in short range of them, and you're okay. probably short range up because you yeah, took off with your jetpack. Yeah, I stay short range up. Okay. I believe is probably the call. I don't feel like I need to move. Okay. Excellent. I'm going. I mean, to... I could do a hit and run, but I don't need to, so I'll stay where I am. All right. So, we go to an NPC turn. Kyra looking towards Tizo, who is also disoriented from the punch he received from the massive gauntlets of this mask-wearing, muscular chiss standing next to you. Kyra kind of looks at you, wipes the blood from her mouth, and comes up to, like, one knee. She looks at you with this quizzical look at first, and then it starts to almost squint into rage. Tito, you are always so reckless. Always so stubborn. You know, we could do this together. You and I. We could go to Dagobah. We could put down the Master Jedi together. The rest of them don't have to know about it. Just you and I. And then what she's going to do is she reaches back with her hand. And she's going to try to force push you. To tumble down this this ramp that you're on so the way this is going to work since you are a force user is it's going to be contested against your discipline okay. Good for luck. her to be able to do this <laughs> so what is training with raven on your discipline right <laughs> i have so i have two yellows and two greens so that is okay, two, you, reds, you two reds two reds two purples, two purples. I believe, right yep that's right she is disoriented, so she has to make she has to add a black onto her check because it's all pre pretty much any check that she makes when disoriented we add a black. Um, I also passed a boost, is, so there's going to be a yeah. boost on it. Is this technically considered a combat check? Good question. I don't know. Um, because if it is, I can dodge, and that would add another. Uh, it would upgrade the difficulty for. Her. I don't know if it's considered. I, I, don't know I would say since this isn't contested, but since this isn't contested against like your athletics or coordination, I would say it wouldn't apply here because this is more okay. about your ability to be connected and, and locked in with the force. Yeah, gotcha. Um, uh, I cannot upgrade her checks because of her critical injury, so I have to stay right where that is. And then I have to roll for her a discipline check with all of that added. <laughs> okay. So basically, I'm going to roll, basically, I roll the force dice with the check. And she has to roll enough dark side points to be able to do what she's trying to do and succeed and, in, succeed. and succeed in the same token. So mm -hmm. might be difficult. We'll see. Oh, interesting, what? interesting. Oh. <laughs> what the heck do you do with that one? Uh, what the heck? That's so, so, normally, uh, emoji story. yeah, basically what happens is she, she fails at this attempt, but for some reason there are two advantages there. I will say... Yeah, she triumphed twice. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I will say with a double triumph, here's what happens. Okay. You succeed in staying put. Unfortunately, the lightsaber in your hands does not stay in your hands. 
and it goes flying with the force push. Oh. And it lands and rolls down next to Yeska's foot. <laughs> as it disengages as soon as it leaves your grasp. And you're just like reaching back for it, but you're holding on, holding your ground the best that you can. That's a really good triumph for a failure. <laughs> uh, when you get double triumphs, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. <laughs> so... And she will use her uh, maneuver to just take additional cover behind that large uh, Chiss individual. So right now I'm going to say any like targeting her is if you don't like move to get advantage like around the, the, the blockade there. It's going to add three setback to your your check against her. This, this guy's much bigger than her. <clears throat> and I will end her turn there bringing us to... We've got two PCs left to go. We've got Dran and we've got Yeska. And you guys actually can just, you guys go back to back. So it's up to you how you guys want to do this. Are you throwing the mic to me, MG? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, first of all, uh, uh, apologies, my uh, my audio is uh, kind of frizzy today, so I sound uh, quite robotic. I'm so we'll uh, we'll try to we'll work through that and love me through it. Um, so the I'm I'm still a little bit away from the bad guys. Is that right? Like, I'm a range band away. Short range, yeah. You're a range band away. Alright, um... And, uh, Tizo's lightsaber has, uh, rolled to a stop by my feet. Yep. Uh, I'm going to, uh, do a thing that I have always, uh, wanted to see done. Is I'm going to put my foot on top of Tizo's lightsaber. And then quickly roll back my toes and scoop up underneath and and kick it up and, and cast it in my hand. Yeah, that's a free action. And then... <laughs> because yeah. that's super cool. Like hacky sack. <laughs> that's right. Hacky sack or, you know, like how you do with, uh, with, with a soccer... Soccer ball, football. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh, going to ignite both sides of his lightsaber and then quick draw my lightsaber to ignite as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jessica 2.0 right here. Get ready. <laughs> and then. Uh, just move forward into the fray. Okay. And then, and then as I, I reach Tizo, I'm going to hold out uh, his saber to him. And just, and just say, let's do this. You, you, he's yours. And I point over to the guy with the gauntlets. So I hand over your lightsaber, and uh, then I uh, give a, you know, stand up straight, straighten my my coat, then give a, give a, a very elegant salute, and then I'm, I'm on guard. And as you're uh, as you're doing that, I, as you're doing that, that that I'm mus to... that muscular. <laughs> He, he takes his gauntlets and he's just like smashing one into the other. He's just like looking at you getting ready. <laughs> so you're going to go ahead and make an attack well, against I'm, them? I'm gonna, you, you bet your bottom I'm going to right. make an attack. Uh, so base, base difficulty is going to be two purple dice. I am going to flip a... Dark side point, and I'm going to upgrade uh, your difficulty by one. That's fine. And, it's all right with everyone else. I will this, also oh, flip yeah. a point, and I will upgrade myself one. 
And also, he is a level three adversary, so you have to upgrade three more times. Oh, so remember, these guys are bosses, nemesis, so they're going to have upgrades to make them a little bit harder to hit. <laughs> Didn't work out for my first one. <laughs> no, it did not. Uh, and he also has he also has a defense rating one, so that would be a one uh, setback. So one black square as well, black six sided die. Okay. All right. Anything else? I think that'll do it. All right. Time for a, uh, a quick lunge with my curb tilt lightsaber. Oh. Oh. That's an interesting mix. And I've got uh, one of those uh, step backs is erased from my automatic. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Advantage. Absolutely. Sure. So that's uh, so you got six damage. You have four successes on top of it. So that's 10 damage coming in. Unsoakable. As you take a swipe uh, across the sky, it's, you can see like there's this glowing spot where you kind of carve through the armor that this guy is wearing. And you hear him go, Ugh! Ugh! and he looks like he's getting ready to reach down for something alongside his, uh, his waist. Um, and... I will say that the three threat on this is going to be that you, in the process of this, as you're striking through, uh, you lose your footing a bit, and the next, uh, the next, either the next attack against you will have an automatic upgrade, or the next thing that you try to do will have an automatic upgrade in difficulty, just because you're kind of in this motion, you've lost your footing a little bit, lost your balance, and you're trying to regain that balance. Yeah, I, I lunged and did not recover. Right, right. That's what those. That's what those three threat. Because three threat is almost is almost as equal as a despair. Not quite, but almost there. So that's what I'll cash those in all at once to do that. Um, Ooh, good thing it wasn't four. <laughs> anything? Uh, I think that would probably consume your whole turn unless you wanted to spend two strain to take an additional maneuver. Now that's my whole deal. Okay. All right. Yeah, he looks like he's still standing in front of you. He looks like he's he's injured, definitely from the impact, but looks as if he's still in the fight. All right, Elton John. <laughs> Dr. Duran, you are up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do uh, as a maneuver, do the bound together, where I can kind of just reach out and connect with everyone and soak strain for the, until, the, until my next turn, I think it says. Yeah, until my next turn. So uh, helping what? allies soak some strain a little bit. Okay, what is uh, define? What was that? Uh, the details of that or, one more time. Yeah. Until my next turn, when me or allies within short range suffer strain, they reduce the amount by the current number of light side destiny points. Oh, okay. I yeah. remember this one. So everyone can strain themselves a little more and just shrug it off. Right now, that's a number. That's five right now. Oh. So. That's huge. Right side, right side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's my maneuver. And then uh, there's, you said there are some stormtroopers here, right, Michael? Yeah, uh, flanking on either side, and it looks like they're getting ready. They got their blaster rifles, and they're just looking around for targets and getting ready to start pinpointing you guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then I am going to bust out the old, uh, make sure I'm getting this right. Yeah. I'm going to do some harm. Do some harm. <laughs> so I have to reach out and see. And I have one from my um, meditation I did. I have one light that one, adds to this. One, 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 one success? Light force pip. Oh, one, one light. Because these are force pips, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, go ahead and uh, make your roll. Oops. I, sh I guess I wasn't supposed to roll the purples. That was my mistake. But I've got two lights, three darks. So I'm going to have to tap into the dark side to make this happen. Okay. Seems fitting. <laughs> it does, and just you know being so afraid of this looming chiss that you know with his with his powers i'm just oh, yeah. trying not to look at him and instead focus on the the stormtroopers and 
anger and fear and hate, and I'm just gonna pump this into them, and they would do... They'd take 11 unsoakable wounds. I can uh, pick up the three targets. I don't know if that's three stormtroopers or three minion groups. I would say three stormtroopers. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, I'm not going to let you put all the minion groups down. But yeah, uh, fair enough. yeah. So, so, uh, what, what direction you say would you go with this? Like right or left side? Like I, I'm, I'm kind of um, feeling like you're on the right and Ravens on the yeah. left, kind of like hovering above. Um, so I'll go after that right flank first. Right flank. Okay. Yeah. You, instantly, you see. Yeah. Three of those stormtroopers like reach for their heads, scream, and are like clawing at their their helmets. They don't ever take them off, you know, because stormtroopers don't do that. Uh, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they just like pff, and fall to the ground with a uh, the, the you hear the tink and clank of their armor fall and hit the hit the ground. And just take a deep breath and turn. And you hear this thing, and you hear this voice in your mind, and it says, "Good." And that's all it says. So make sure you take your con. How many uh, dark side points did you spend? Yeah, I had to tap into. I think I had to flip. Let me double check just to make sure I've done this. <laughs> I just flip one. Yeah, I had to flip okay. one. Okay, so that's that'd be one conflict point. It would be. Oh, you got to flip your destiny too, because you got to flip the destiny to, oh, to yeah. flip one of those. And um, I believe that's a. Point of strain too, I think. When you luckily, you don't have yeah. to worry about the strain. Oh yeah, because of his uh, his uh, ability. Oh yeah, the bound yeah. together. The bound together stops you We're from sharing taking the strain. Sharing this darkness together, I that, guess. That's right. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very good, Dran. Putting some people down by using his force energies. Uh, anything else that Dran would do? Would you spend? That's it. Uh, you're just gonna stay put. Okay. Yep. Okay, we've got two NPC goes, and the stormtroopers are gonna start firing away. I've got a minion group of five that are all on Raven's side that just target Raven. And they're gonna just fire away with these blaster rifles. So, short range is one purple base for that. I think you have two black setback that I add. Okay. Anything else that I need to? Yeah, you're gonna need to upgrade as I do. Sidestep. Sidestep. Excellent. Yeah, so and you. That's, you upgrade one, two. You upgrade twice. Upgrade twice. Okay. And I don't need strain for that. Thanks, bud. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, well, I've got them here, so I'm gonna use. Do I want to use? Hey, it's the finale. Yes, I do. Oh. I'm gonna use a dark side point. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm gonna give them an upgrade on their attack roll. Okay. <sighs> and this is a minion group five blaster rifles. Do, 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 do. Oof. That's going to hit. Twelve soakable damage. As you are impacted by all these blasts. <laughs> yeah, my soak is seven, so I think five. Five? Five, yeah. five seems right, yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. <clears throat> soak is seven, that is killer. Sweet, sweet. All right, yeah, they just basically firing squad style, just standing up there and just blasting at you while you're hovering. You try to, like, tilt and s s steer out of the way, but surprisingly enough, these stormtroopers got a good shot. And, uh, wow, I guess... they upgraded! Yeah, they got, this, they got some training! They got some extra training on these these guys. That's <laughs> um, the other remaining two stormtroopers on the other side that are still left... Where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it is. Uh, are going to... They're going to fire down at Dran. Uh-oh. The short range is one purple. Change the minion group down to two, since those are the only two remaining. Uh, any black setback for armor or anything that I need to add, Dran? Yes, I have one 
arm, one defense. So I okay. think that's one black setback. Yep, that's it. Anything else? Uh, I guess fear doesn't affect them, only me. I only you, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really give them any advantage on anything, just affects you. All right. Oh boy. Here comes some blaster rifles at Dran. See you guys. Oh, that's going to hit. Two successes. Yeah, 11 will hit. That's 11 that's soakable nice. damage. Okay, I can soak some of it. Oh, wow. Doing math. On the, uh, on the threshold of oh you're looking unconsciousness. oh but wow I'm, I'm, I'm good i'm good dran's getting blasted over on the other side uh stumbling yeah. back as these blaster shots connect yeah they've really trained these stormtroopers a lot better than the the previous ones that you guys have encountered um for both of those double advantages uh, they're going to pass boosts both are going to kyra and that brings us to these two strange NPC zero turns at the bottom. Um, in the rule book, when you have certain nemesis that are of the Inquisitor uh, uh, quality, there is a rule uh, that states that I can put a free uh, NPC turn per Inquisitor at the bottom of each round. They're like legendary actions. Oh god. They're like legendary <laughs> actions, exactly. To, oh, no. to balance the to balance the encounter. So both oh, of both Kyra and uh, this big chiss get to go again on this first round. So the big chiss standing in front of Yeska. Pulls out a lightsaber and ignites it. <laughs> Holding it within this map. You can see that the hilt is much bigger. It's built for him. Um, and he's just going to come right at you, Yeska. And he's going to try to swipe at you back. So his base difficulty for this is going to be two purple. Um, I believe it's two black setback for you because you're wielding your lightsaber. Yes, that's right. Okay. Anything else that you have that would change the difficulty of this? I'm going to use the Lulu <laughs> that I have from the Mystic Seer tree uh, called Sense Advantage, where once per session I can add two black setback die to one NPC's skill check. Oh, nice. Sense Advantage. Very good. So if he... If he does bad enough, then I can do something else to him. Excellent. All right. Well, I got so I got two purple and four black setback attached to this. I am going to go ahead and burn a dark side point, and I'm going to give him an upgrade. Um, and that'll do it. So here comes his lightsaber attack at Yeska. Oh, oh. oh no. That was a... Ouch. Oh. Ouch. So here, let's do okay. let's do damage first. <laughs> okay, so so it's nine non-soakable uh lightsaber damage. So you take nine wounds. I don't have any more boost physical dice, but the advantage is going to boost the next NPC that goes, which will be Kyra. So there's three boosts for Kyra's next attack or anything. The two. Uh, okay, so you said it was nine? Nine wounds, yes. Okay, so I'm going to parry, of course. Okay, yeah, so you suffer. Suffer strain, but does uh, does that? You don't. I don't think you would suffer strain because of because of Dran Dran's ability. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so you I can would have suffered normally three strain, 
nope. uh, to reduce it by two, plus my ranks in parry. Uh, I have five ranks in parry. I've maxed out parry. <laughs> uh, so seven. You reduce it by seven. That would be, be seven. So I reduce it by seven. So you only take two wounds from that strike. Very nice. That's not so bad. So cool, so cool. So here, here's the bad news, though. There's two triumphs there. I'm going to spend one of the triumphs to activate Sunder, which puts a mark on your lightsaber. So it damages your lightsaber by one... As it comes down and it hits, clips part of your lightsaber and burns through the hilt just a little bit. Um, and the other triumph is going to be used to activate a critical. So you are going to roll a critical injury. But one thing I must tell you oh, no. is this individual has a ability called lethal blows, which adds a plus oh, no. 20 to all critical checks. We're gonna have another repeat of Come on, you ask not a don't don't lose your eyesight again, please. He <laughs> <laughs> just got it back. It's 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 the uh it's the old man in hunchback all over again. I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna it'd be a critical plus twenty on the offset, so Fearsome wound. Increase difficulty of all presence and willpower checks by one difficulty die until the end of the encounter. Uh, That's rough. That sucks. <laughs> As you are uh, struck powerfully. What does that mean? <laughs> well, anything that's based off of your presence and willpower, you're going to add an extra purple dice uh, to any of the difficulty. So, any of those checks. Uh -oh. I don't think you use well willpower. Well, you might because use my more. my lightsaber skill is presence. Oh, your lightsaber is based on presence. Yes, yeah, so you got to increase your whenever you attack. It's one extra purple uh, with your lightsaber now. Oh, yeah, he caught you like right. He cut the lightsaber and cut like your wrist, um, and that's caught that you kind of grab your wrist and pull back, glaring up back at him in pain. <laughs> I got to take a point of conflict. This is this is hitting my hitting me right in the in the pride. <laughs> one of the thing. Actually, oh yeah. I'm gonna take two. Take two. <laughs> this is okay, and that is not very good. That is gonna end his turn. Um, as he used his his last NPC turn. Now Kyra gets to go, and she. is going to she's going to go after Tizo with her double bladed lightsaber. She's going to use her maneuver to kind of out like come out from behind uh this other large one and she like takes these like strange like almost like faint steps like back and forth and then starts swinging this rapidly and she's coming right uh, towards you. So this is going to be two purple base uh difficulty. How many black setbacks do I need to add to this? I have a defense of one. Okay, so I've got one up there. Anything else that would change the attack? I'm going to dodge, so it upgrades the difficulty by one. Upgrades the difficulty by one for dodge, you got it? Yeah, and then if if she hits me, I have parry, so. Okay, and I'm going to cash. That, that'd be it. She's going to cash in all three of these boosts mm -hmm. on top of this because she can't upgrade, so she's going to do that. And double-bladed lightsaber. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I shouldn't have added the force there. Ignore those. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Eight unsoakable. I will parry. Okay. So I reduce it by three. Oh wait, so wait, wait. Before I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use two advantage to activate linked. She's gonna hit you with both sides. God. Cause I think that happens before we apply soak. It does. So that's gonna be times two. So what is that? That's sixteen. A... 
minus what is it? Oh no, minus four, so it's twelve. Mm -hmm. Tizo's unconscious. Tizo's unconscious. Oh no. Yep. Put me one above. Okay, anytime you go unconscious, um, yep. you gotta roll a crit, and I'm going to add plus ten with the other two advantages and activate another critical against you. I so I have a question. Yeah. Would this one crit be rolled without the pluses and then another crit so like would your attack crit hit first and then since I went unconscious, would it roll again? Well so I think how I would that I think this game tries to limit the die rolls. So okay. I think it would all just be is one. Okay, so this is gonna be an offset of two or twenty then? Right? No, it would only be an offset of 10, unless you already oh, have a critical okay. against you. I don't. No. Okay, yeah, just be an offset of 10. The two advantages is going to okay. do a plus 10 on the Oh, crit. right, right, because, right, I was yeah. thinking her critical was like mine. No, it's only, a, she has to cash in too. Oh! God. Horrific what? injury. Oh, I need you to roll a 1d10 for us. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> just not a, just not a 4 to 6, please. Let it be a uh, oh boy. Okay. Nine. Presence. 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 Okay. Wait, hold on. What happened? Uh-oh. Oh, no. What do you mean, what happened? Okay, never mind. Cunning was one. Yeah. Because <laughs> I would, if it was cunning, it would have put me down to zero in cunning. So I think that just instantly kills you. But uh, I'm, I, I'm at one presence now. <laughs> one presence? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's uh, one wound character. It's one point lower, yeah. So, yeah, your your presence is now one lower as you get struck by both sides. Uh, amazing quickness from Kyra as she comes at you with these uh, very rapid lightsaber attacks. Spinning this thing. Um, it's a very unique lightsaber that she's wielding uh, to attack you with. That's going to end her turn. And we're back up at the top of round two. Any PC is available to go. Oh, Jesus. Um. Uh, there's, there's, Raven, you are witnessing an epic lightsaber battle up here on top of the ramp. Yeah. And you've, really you've seen... I, I, I suggest that, that Raven goes and see if she can take out you know, some of the stormtroopers that are just bugging us from the side. You want me to go after the stormtroopers, not the big boys? Twice the big boys. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because, like, we got it. <laughs> How far are... He's bleeding from the hand. He's those unconscious. <laughs> I got it. Trans, like... <laughs> Where am I in relation to Tizo and Dran? What's that? Where am I in relation to Tizo and Dran? Like I know I'm, I'm above them, but like Dran, Dran is like short range apart? underneath you to the right a little bit. Like you, you were both back down the ramp, and Yeska and Tizo went up the ramp and are engaged with the the enemies. Okay. How do I want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> We killed them already. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I see Tizo fall, and she panics a little. For like half a second, she panics, and she's also got the fear from the other big boy. Um, she's going to. I'm 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 going to I'm going to trust the doctor. Would one wound change your status? It does get 15. So that would keep you conscious? I I don't know does that keep me conscious? I don't know what's your threshold. I mean, does it mean 15? Oh, 15 of 15. It'd be 15 of 15. So it it would meet your threshold so you'd be still yeah. conscious? Okay. Cuz I forgot that she oh. has disorient 2 on her right now. Uh, and I just mm. I just rerolled another black die and it took one of the uh, one of those off of there. I would still crit you because that's what I would do. Yeah. Um, okay. 
But well, I'm, but I'm up. Still. But you're still conscious, barely. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. I I apologize. Oh, wow. I forgot about her disorient no, being on there. You're you're fine. Turn off mm -hmm. my gray. <laughs> uh, between the big boy and the and the big girl, who looks more hurt? Um, they both look injured. You can't really tell, um, like at level what what their status is but you can see a big gash taken out of the bigger guy and obviously you impacted you're not sure how well you hit because it seemed like she was trying to you know knock some of your attack back and how many stormtroopers are left uh there's five on your side and there's two over like taking shots at dran on the other side so okay. a total of seven i will take shots on the ones closest to me then okay this is considered a minion group so basically, you're just attacking one stormtrooper. Uh, short range would be one purple as your base. Mm -hmm. They do not have a defense rating, so there's no black dice on this. I do have one black for my fear, though. For your fear, yeah. That, that would be perfect, yep. Okay, um, I'm going to take aim and give myself a boost. Okay, yeah. Maneuver to take aim. And I'm gonna. Do I flip? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not gonna flip yet. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so they're gonna get an additional eight damage on top of this <laughs> because of point blank and deadly accuracy. Oh, five. Plus three. Ouch. 23 damage. 23 damage. Oh my out of, gosh. Out of the five of them. So you have an option here. Mm -hmm. Because they're a minion group. Mm -hmm. Your critical rating is two. Two, yeah. So you can cash in two advantages. Yeah, I'm gonna crit twice. Crit I'm gonna crit tw twice and pass so, it forward. Well, critting twice will disintegrate two instantly. Okay. Cool. And the other amount of damage is with their soak is still good enough to take all three of the rest of them out. Cool. Love that. So you're flying. You take aim, and you're just like right down the line. <laughs> Every shot dead center in the chest as the armor just blackens away and blows away into just this misty dust that just like settles onto the uh, the floor. Okay, now I'm going to use movement. I don't need strength. It's still not Dran's turn. I'm going to use movement to get to Dran and I'm going to take three stim packs and put them in his pockets and I say, get to him now. And yourself. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that one. <laughs> and, all right. Um, that's my turn. I've turn. landed beside Dren, and I think that's all I can do. All right. We've got another NPC turn. Tizo, seeing you on one knee. Badly damaged. Kyra kind of stops. She disengages her lightsaber. <laughs> and just starts to speak to you while all this is happening around. Tizo, this can be a big opportunity for for us. But this was your plan all along? To join them? The no. ones that killed all of our friends? It wasn't my plan all along, Tizo. Things just work out this way. I mean, nobody can plan for any of this. You really think this was all part of my plan the whole time? Listen. 
I've been taught the ways of the dark side. I feel more powerful than ever. And I know that same energy flows through you right now. I can see it in your eyes, Tizo. Come on. Let's stop this foolish nonsense. The difference between me and you is I'm going to use the dark side to kill everyone that is like you. So you stop hurting innocents. That is the difference between us. You will never turn me to your side. You will have to kill me first. No. No. No! And she tries to force push you again. Um, discipline was two <laughs> red, two red and two purple, <laughs> two red, two purple. And you said, I, huh? and, uh, and you said, was there a black setback on this too? Well, only if you let me use dodge, but you didn't let me use it last time. So got it. I'm got assuming it, got it. no, I will use a light side to upgrade it again though. You got it. Light side upgrade. Uh, she cannot upgrade. So here comes another, uh, uh, well, she's got to add her three force die. And here we go. Let's see what happens. She cannot do this. Ooh. Oh. Wait, She's it didn't. Wait, it didn't. It didn't roll. It didn't, yeah, I say it didn't roll any of your. Didn't roll any of my good oh. stuff. Let me roll again. Yeah. I know. I know okay. what I did wrong. I gotta go That's down okay. here. That's fine. That's good. And I actually gotta roll <laughs> discipline. Yeah. And hopefully it works out this time. She still doesn't do it. Look at that. You leveled her I'm, I'm too good. You. <laughs> You made her be like, oh shit, he's he's murdering for justice. <laughs> murdering for justice, that's right. Tizo, dark side for justice. Well, she did roll plenty of dark side points. Unfortunately, she failed. Um, she's going to pass a boost. Um, oh, I know what that other one was she for. She despaired. Let me, uh, let me do this too, because I keep on forgetting. Oh, that's another failure. So that takes well, out... Well, how, well, how much was her disorient for how long it's, uh it, she's twice now well this will okay. be the it, it, it has to okay. end at the end of this round gotcha so she's still disoriented so that's just another failure uh the advantage is you're just kind of focused on her so if i would i will say that um i'll say it's just going to be like a pass to boost to, to the next person despair is that she is so focused on you right now that um I'm going to say that anybody who makes any kind of check against her uh, is going to have free upgrade. And she's like flipping out at your response to her invitation. And it looks like she her eyes were already like dark around. But now you can start to see like darkening kind of like veins kind of start to appear like on the edges of her face. As she goes into this rage, and you can almost see a red glow in her eyes as this is happening. Um... That is her whole turn, and she's just getting ready for uh, what is happening. Another PC can go. If no one minds, I would love to go before I get a knocked unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as I'm kneeling there, the um, Yeska, if, if you're looking or anybody that can see my face, the strike that she did uh, left like a really long scar down his face. And that because presence is like your personality and like your charm and all that. So like, yeah. So it left a really bad looking scar down the middle of his face. Um, I will stand up holding my lightsaber and I will say something if this works, but if it doesn't work, I'm not going to, you know, if it fails, uh, okay. I am going to force binder. Okay. So this is a discipline versus discipline again. Yep. Um, this for her is four red. Okay. I already put my one black setback. Because you have of, a boost from me. I have a boost from you. Okay. I have my setback because I am disoriented. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? I think that's it. Is it she nemesis? 
She is Nemesis. Oh, she's Adversary 3. So, Adversary. Yeah. Adversary. So yep. that's, what is that? Upgrade or is up, that Black up, Dice? Upgrade 3. Okay. Yep. Uh, and I don't think I have anything else that I can do, unfortunately. So hopefully this works. I'm getting a feeling it's not going to, though. <laughs> uh, so. Can upgrade? I can't upgrade. Oh. Uh... Because if I I need to if I need to use the light side, I need the force. Yeah, because you got to use dark side points now, huh? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so uh... as Tizo taps into his fear and hatred in order to bind his enemies. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it does not work. Uh, you can feel her like her rage is distracting your uh, ability to focus on like her just dark side force energy is just like suppressing yours just being in the proximity of her you can feel like things rumbling some of the railing like around you guys starts to bend and starts to go and start to fold like paper as this is happening as you guys are just focused staring at each other you're holding out your hand trying to like squeeze her neck it doesn't seem to be working um, uh Michael, could I also say I, I used my, uh, I, I forgot that I had it, my, um, mark for death. Yes. So it, it guarantees two advantage, so it would cancel out the, the threat. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. Cancels out the threat. Um, there is a despair there. Yep. So I'm going to say the, um, next check that you do will be upgraded difficulty one. Um, okay. Or if somebody comes to attack you, you're distracted right now, trying to focus on this Kyra, and they would get an upgrade if they gotcha. were to attack you. All right. um, since we still have the thing from Dran, I will use the extra strain to use another maneuver. And, okay. Because it's, it's a maneuver to stem yourself, right? It is, yes. So I will stem, stem myself. All right. That should be five for you. Five yeah. wounds. Yep. And I think Quick. that was my last stem. Jabs it oh. into his thigh. Um, yeah, that was my last stem back. So. Raven has ten. That's why she gave Dren three. Yeah, I have three now. All right, another NPC turn. Sticking uh, out of your chest. <laughs> this Chiss um, is smiling towards Yeska with his lightsaber in hand and just with a not so he's you can see he's almost like mockingly doing these flourishes of the lightsaber Yeska in front of you like mocking your little bow and things like that and then comes and swings around with this big mighty blow it's yeah it's especially coming from a chiss uh themselves uh very rude and disrespectful trying to throw it back in your face uh, I'm gonna try to attack you with lightsaber again. So it's gonna be two purple base. I think that's two black. Anything else that needs to be added? Uh, no, just that he sucks. <laughs> um, now you were off balance last turn because of uh, the three threat. Did you take an action yes. and add that to your attack last time, or does he get to add the upgrade to his attack? Or did we? That means that. That means that I will uh, increase the difficulty. I. It says increase difficulty of all presence and little power checks by oh, one. Oh no, not not your crit. You had like you had three threat oh. when you attacked with your lightsaber. So why I cashed those three threat in to do either like you would have an upgrade on the next thing that you did, or whoever went against you would have an upgrade on their attack. For you being off balance a little bit. So oh, I see. So I, I think that was on that was your last turn was your attack. So he's gonna go ahead and cash that in to upgrade his lightsaber attack by one. Did you want to spend a destiny point? Uh, you know what? Why not? 
All right. So let's upgrade his difficulty. Yep. He'll upgrade the difficulty one, and you can go ahead and flip one of those destiny points uh, on your character sheet there. And here comes a lightsaber attack against Yeska. And another successful strike. Oh, no. That's 10 okay. wounds. 10 wounds. All right, I'll, I'll parry again. Okay. And I don't believe you will take any strain because that's of Dran, if that's still I'll up. I'll take no strain. But I'll, I'll take three wounds. Three wounds. And... You can see that this is causing him to have to work a little bit. It's going to take a point. He's going to take a point of strain for that threat. Good. And he just takes oh, kind of like a... It. He just like does another mocking flurry and kind of smiles and laughs at you uh, behind his mask. That ends that NPC's turn, bringing us to another uh, two PCs in a row. So our final two PCs. Uh, I think to take one, uh, if no one minds. Uh, this guy's in my face, <laughs> and uh, he's mocking my whole deal. Uh, so I'm going to attack him. I have to clear my dice pool, uh, so Michael, can you help me uh, situate that? Yeah, um, if you go to the top of your dice pool area do you see there's that um those two arrows beside like in your force die centerpiece there at the top you're trying to clear it right well clear it and i was wondering what my new pool your new, yeah your new yeah your new pool is gonna it's gonna be two purple is your base to hit um okay. and you're gonna add one black setback because of his armor okay um since you're attacking, upgrades. I'm, he's got three upgrades for he, being a, a jerk. That's right. He's got three upgrades for being a jerk. And because I'm a jerk, I'm going to flip a dark side point. <laughs> and I'm going to add a fourth upgrade. Just because these are boss fights and they're supposed to be hard. <laughs> I've got something additional because of my critical. So... What, is, what does that mean? Oh, yeah, so yeah, I it was, it upgrade was, again, or do I add another? Just purple? add a additional purple, so it'll be three purple as your base. Uh, I've got another thing. <laughs> uh, I can use sense danger once per game. Remove uh, up to two setbacks from any one check. So I'm going to. Oh, there you go. One of his that, that black setback that he had. You got it. Uh, so. And you know, is, I think we're just gonna try to keep using all of our destiny points as many as we can. So I'm gonna flip one. Okay. And upgrade myself. Okay. I think that just used one of ours. Is that true? Did he accidentally use one of yours? Maybe. Okay. This is I mean, I upgraded mine. So yeah. you guys I should... flipped to upgrade my check. Oh, okay. And, oh, yeah. He flipped the light side by accident. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me... Uh, here's what I'll do. I'll give you guys that one back. So it should be... Oh, thank you. That should be correct now. Okay. I'm a little merciful. Yeah, well, I... If you click for some reason NPCs, like I can't change it to use dark side yeah. on the character sheet. So if I don't accidentally go to my, if I don't go to my GM like flipper thing, that messes it up. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Not the best. And I'm also going to do a thing uh, called the Makashi finish. So I'm performing a lightsaber combat yeah. check, uh, adding some force die up to my force rating and i can spend light or dark side to add plus 10 uh to any resulting critical injury rolls oh crits get plus 10s on light side bit pips oh my okay. force rating is three so i'm gonna add add three force die to your three roll force die. and then you'll just have to go make your lightsaber attack See how you do. 
Coming back at him. My connection to the server has been interrupted. Oh, Lord. oh, yeah, I don't see you in uh... <laughs> Yeah, you just dropped out of the roll 20. Oh, yeah. no. Hold on, do my you... server is do reconnecting. You... Do you want me to go ahead and roll for you? Or do you want to uh, wait? It says I'm connected now. Okay. Let me try again. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, <laughs> maybe, Michael, maybe you can try uh, to roll for me. Sure. Yeah, I can roll for you. So you had three force die in there. You removed yes, all the three setback. Force die. It's three purple. Oh, there it comes. Oh, it went through. Oh, no. Oh. No, I read Michael do it. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, that is going to miss. You have one automatic advantage, so you have two advantages on that. Dang, that was a lot of force, too, if you would have hit the yes. big crit. Yeah. That would have been a big crit if you would have hit. I really, yeah. wanted, to, I really wanted to mess this guy up. Was a Makashi finish him. <laughs> That's right. So I'm gonna. I, I can do that more than once, but so I can try to do that again. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the. I'm gonna cash the despair in to say that. Um. Once again, like just the, this focusing on him as your like single opponent, you're leaving yourself really open for other people to kind of attack you, and you're getting yourself a little bit. You're, you're starting to get, a little bit hesitant and angry and. It's this guy, and I'm just gonna say the same thing from as, as before. Like, there's if somebody attacks you, they're gonna get an upgrade. If you your next thing that you try to do, uh, if you do that before they get that benefit, then you'll have a upgrade on your difficulty. So. I'm gonna take another point of conflict. Just, okay, <laughs> this never happens. That's right. Uh, so it's an epic battle of the Chiss up here on the top of the ramp as they're trading blows. Yeah. Um, what do you want to do with your two advantages? I'm just going to pass a boost to whatever PC goes next. I don't have any strain at the moment, so... Passing to Dran, then? Yeah. All right, Dran. Uh, I, I believe you were the last one to go for the PCs for this round. Yep. Yep. Uh, among my allies, who's looking the most hurt? I'm six away from being unconscious. <laughs> so Tizo's yeah, dragging Tizo. and bleeding... Who else? Like, how Raven's do Yeska fine. and Raven look? Like? Raven's fine. fine. I got, Yeska's a little scratched. I got Dean. A little bit. I'm fine. His pride is wounded more than his flesh. Yeah, his pride's more That's wounded, right. I think. <laughs> right. I'm going to try to reach out with some healing power because I'm still technically a light side Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boom. Technically. Well, I oh. didn't clear. I thought I cleared, but I. That's okay. That's weird. It's adding. Oh, I. Yeah, it's made its bug. Um, but yeah, that's a, uh... wait, what do you think? That's, that's a lot of light side. Rim... Yeah, that, I didn't seven light. Much. There's no way. Oh, you're oh wait, yeah, I was going to say, do you have Yeah, do you have seven a force rating? Yeah, so... No, I have four. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whoa. like it's stuck. It's stuck, huh. it's not refreshing it? Yeah. Interesting. Let me see if it'll let me go in and uh, you refresh it You the first it four dice rolls, so that's two black and... For light, that works. <laughs> works. Here, let me uh, let me see if I can. It'll let me refresh it or do anything to it. Cool. Oh, it looks like the number. Changed. I know my roll twenty was also giving me like red screens, so I don't know. No, it's weird. It's weird. I'm supercharged with the force, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, for some reason, your character sheet's all locked up. Here, let me just. Yeah. Re, I'm just gonna roll four on my GM sheet and see how that comes cool. out. Cool. Let's see how that rolls. Sorry about the technical issues, guys. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So, Thank I you. Thank you, humble and merciful <laughs> dungeon master. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I, I guess without having to flip any destiny points, then I can heal for. 10 damage. It's st it follows stim rules. Follows stim rules. Yeah, so it'd be 9 for less. me. Yeah, I guess I'll get myself, Tizo, and I guess if Yeska's more wounded than Raven, I'll I don't think Yeska. 
Alright, well, Raven. I have five wounds, so I'm fine. I can oh. stim myself later. I'm fine. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I'm also at five. Um, I'm, but my wound threshold's 21. <laughs> okay, so, I'll the melee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So, uh, that's a lot for. for uh, so you get 10. I think everybody gets 10, yeah. right? Except Tizo, who oh, gets get nine. 9. Oh, yeah. 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 So, and uh, I think it's because I didn't use any. If you have any strain, it'll heal because I didn't have to use any dark side points to do that. Ow. Oh, does it heal strain too? If because it. Uh, let's see. How much does it say? I just to make sure I do this right and I don't lie and do things that I'm not allowed to do. Uh, it says here this thing that says. <laughs> If no dark side generated, target heals strain equal to wounds healed. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, I have no strain now. <laughs> yeah. Ten strain uh, healed for everybody except T Tizo would be nine strain. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. I only had four. Just remember, that's your force heal for the encounter. Remember, because the, the way the, the healing goes in this game, you can only do like one type of healing per encounter so mm -hmm. i mean you can still do like you can still do like a medical you could do a medical heal yeah. and that would that would be perfect yeah. and you can do your stems of course but here uh, we go and uh, i think i'll nice. use my maneuver to, <laughs> as a maneuver i will continue to be bound together oh, yeah force Release energies force energies are going nuts in this chamber like the yeah. the like with the dark side and light side fighting back and forth like the ramp is starting to kind of like twist and bend and you guys can kind of feel like this whole platform and the just this room being under the pressure of all these force energies just driving through the room um the two remaining stormtroopers in the midst of all this just kind of like look at each other and then look back <laughs> as, as all this is taking place um fantastic anything else you're doing dran yeah uh, sure you got maneuvers <laughs> Well, I, I can I can take some strain to do a maneuver, and I think I have this thing. Don't you have? Out. Don't Why you? Not? You just did the force, so you got you got a maneuver, and you could do a strain to take a second maneuver. So you. Could... Well, I, I did one maneuver to bind us together, and one to do the um the heal. Oh, you have to, to use heal. the no, maneuver can... every turn to bind. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, sure, I'll do. Thing called. What's it called? Ah, uh, yeah. Um. I'll do the force as my ally. Uh, once per session, may suffer two strain and perform a force power action as a maneuver. And <laughs> this time I'll harm the stormtroopers. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, what's, uh, you just roll I your... May, I may maybe, because uh, I don't know if I'm still going to have my rolling problem or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll start roll 20 between turns here. But... Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so what do I need to roll for you? If you don't mind, could I have four force die? Four force die. Oh, <laughs> didn't work out. I didn't for use you. a destiny point. You, you didn't. You didn't. Round. You didn't. So I will flip How many, one. Just I one. Have take, I have to use four of them. I have to use four. Of, yeah. Okay. So for for every so for every one you use, that's a conflict, a strain on your character. So that's four yeah. points for both of those. As you're tapping into this this dark side energy to be able to put harm. That's strange. You tapped into the light side to heal, and a second yeah, later, <laughs> you're bringing down the stormtroopers, pulling it back and forth. Three, yeah. So three targets. I guess I could do two stormtroopers and the ch. You could do that. Yeah. Did he get the, he probably gets to resist it somehow because he's like. Ah, uh, yeah. He would get to resist. Um. I don't know if that's. Do me a f well. I will do this. Uh, what is your what is your discipline oh, skill? It's not high. My discipline skill is. Yeah, we'll see if this works out. Two green. Two green for discipline. Let me see. Yeah, what his trans is. a little bit of a loose cannon. Okay, so here's his, and yours is two green. So I'm just gonna roll this yeah. just base and see what the contest is between. Nope. Because it it would have used that uh, the same force as you already yeah. rolled, so so he resists as you try to harm him. But the stormtroopers uh, take how many? How much damage do they take? Ten each. Ten each. I believe, yeah. 
Okay, and this is this is this soakable or is it non-soakable? Non-soakable. Non-soakable. Puts them both down as they look at each other, look back towards. They're getting ready to pull their blasters back up to like shoot down at you, and you hold out your hand, and you see that same familiar. Ah, ah, and they go fly. One of them like goes where the the railing is starting to fold, and it he falls off the railing and just plants down onto the uh, the. Well, <laughs> Helmsman. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, excellent. All Good. I can do. It's all you can do. <laughs> Good round. Uh, so the stormtroopers are gone. So that takes off the next NPC round. But now we've got the two bonus rounds for oh. our friends. Oh no. Um. Seeing that you're being um, healed by your allies doesn't. Um, doesn't make this uh, Chiss happy, Yeska. And he is going to continue to strike at you best as he possibly can with his lightsaber. He's just in single combat with you. Two purple, two black. And because of your last despair, he does get a free upgrade. Um, anything else that you can do to add to this, Yeska? No, not this time. I've already used up those things. Used up most things? Okay. He's going to strike with lightsaber again. Misses. As Yeska is able to dodge this coming through, seeing it coming, getting tired of the mocking of your fighting style. And he brings the lightsaber down and it just misses you and kind of puts a big gash into the floor of this platform beside you he does get four advantages though so he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna pass a boost over to kyra and then he's going to heal any strain that he has and that will be his um his extra turn as he's just locked in combat with you trying to put you down any way that he can you're dodging out of the way dipping out of the way kind of almost rolling as you regain your your balance and we've got kyra going again <laughs> that's exactly right jim the five d's <laughs> If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> All right, Kyra is super, super angry right now. Just charges Tizo, reigniting her lightsaber, and is gonna just go nuts back and forth. <laughs> Right at Tizo with the double-bladed lightsaber. So that's two purple, two black. Two purple. Uh, no, one black. One black. Got it. Uh, I will dodge to upgrade. Got it. And I will use a light side point to upgrade her check again. Okay. Uh, she is going to get that boost from her friend. And cash that in. Double-bladed lightsaber coming at you. <laughs> Misses horrendously. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that roll. Look at those red dice. Oh my. That's, yes, yes, yes. That is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, when the dice tell the story, she's too ragey. She's sloppy. Okay, uh, she's going to hand a boost back to her buddy. And she's also going to heal Strain. And that will end her free turn, bringing us back to the top of round three. Um, before this round takes place, you guys feel a rumble throughout the vessel that is different from the force rumbles that you've been hearing from all the force energies come, coming back and forth. Sounds like a distant explosion. And then alarms start going off within the inside of the Star Destroyer. Red lights seem to start blinking all around. 
And then a female voice comes on. Incoming rebel fleet attack. Incoming rebel fleet attack. Prepare for battle. As this this just starts going nuts. You can see the two uh, the two inquisitors kind of looking all around in shock. And then Kyra's hatred even gets worse. Her anger starts to overflow into just this absolute almost barbaric rage as she just lets out a ferocious scream that echoes even louder than the alarm system going off within the Star Destroyer. And it seems as if you guys can hear the whole place is now starting to panic and you can hear what sounds like space vessels flying outside at a rapid pace and you can hear blaster fire all around. It appears someone else is here. So a PC can go. Who would like to go? I think I am going to take that uh, position. <laughs> All right. Um, so after kind of deflecting all of uh, Kyra's hits with her lightsaber, I just look at her and I am going to uh, unleash an, a flurry of hits of my own towards her. Okay. I am going to make this an uh, essential kill um, strike. <laughs> okay which basically means i can add my force rating to the check up to up to force rating of my check mm -hmm. uh, i can spin force to gain advantage on on the check oh. i could also or i could spend three of those to get a triumph so okay okay uh so, so. the difficulty is two purple with one black yep. one one black uh -huh. it's disorient or is there another reason why there's a black uh, uh, defense rating one. Oh, okay. So then there's two because I have okay. okay. So I'm still disoriented. Uh, since it looks like my pool says that I have seven dark side points, mm -hmm. so I'm going to upgrade that once. Okay. I clicked it and nothing happened. Let me try to click it again. I had to sync with the GM for some reason because I was didn't realize it was one to seven. Well, it is my. GM pool. I can't sync to it. I can clear it and update it, but I can't sync it again. Could you? I think there's some fresh the page. I can try. Um, refresh roll twenty and altogether. Mhm. Mm Let me try. I'll see what happens, guys. I apologize on stream. We're having. All kinds of internet issues tonight uh, for our finale. Roll 20, Roll 20 does not like us. It is not in our favor. Tonight. It doesn't want us to leave. That's <laughs> it. That's it. <laughs> Let me see what happens now. Anything? Nope. Good grief. We'll just... I'll just type it in the chat. It's, seven, it's two to seven. Or two or, to six. It'd be two to six. Uh, and we'll see if anything kind of blips on. I hope I don't have to reset the whole um, API strain. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that's that upgrades again, right? Upgrades. So four upgrades? Four upgrades. Mm hmm Okay. All right, well, here we go. Make sure I have everything right. Okay. Oh. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. That's the APIs. Mm. Uh, hey guys, here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to take okay. us to a commercial break really quick because <laughs> I got to log out of here and reset these API APIs because unfortunately, Star Wars has special dice that we yeah. need to be able to roll. So it seems like our APIs I'll are going. Maybe I can roll it for you. Well, it's all, it's all right. We'll, we'll make it so we can see it on stream. Uh, we'll just take one more quick break and we'll be right back, guys. Hold, hold tight.
everybody. We apologize. We've got our uh, our systems kicking again. All right, so there I'm gonna make go. that attack now, and let me make sure nothing reset. Two black, two purple, four upgrades. Correct. That sounds right. And then three fours because of my ability. Of course. God dang it. <laughs> So it's a miss, but to advantage, a triumph, and a despair. I, technically, there's four advantage. Four advantage. And also, there's going to be more than that, too, because of my essential kill. Mm hmm Yeah, I can... There's going to be an additional four also, so there's eight advantages. Eight advantages. Okay. Yeah. Your 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 light side force pips equal to an advantage. Oh right, hold on. Since I'm dark side, I don't think I can success. use the light side without oh, flipping a point. So it's technically it only be oh. one. So five advantage because there's only one dark side there. Oh. And I'm not gonna flip because I didn't hit. So. Um, I'm gonna run this by you. I I, I have a question for you. Really okay. fast, and it might because be it says thinking. with with the essential kill, I could add three, three advantage to make a triumph. Would that give me a success? See, would that give me successes see, along with it, or is that just adding triumph? I think it would just add oh. triumph. Okay. Yeah, it's a good point, okay. but I think I think the way this rolls out is triumph is just triumph, and because yeah. I I think that we we discovered that in the in the way that the ruling system works and the how hmm. that goes. I am going to offer you this. Okay. Oh, no. um, your weapon has the Sunder quality. It does. Just because you don't hit her doesn't mean you can't destroy her lightsaber. Ooh. Okay. And with the amount of advantage you have, I believe that it would take... Five. I have five advantage right now. So two to activate it, so that'd be one. Two more would take it down to... Two knocks on the weapon, and then I could use the. You could use your. Do it again. You could use your final two triumphs to take her weapon completely out of the game. Because you have to do I, four points to it, right? Four sunders to yeah. take it out. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. I'm just offering that up. Sure. No. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I will do that. That is that is a good idea. I didn't think about that. Yeah. So I will do that. Okay. And uh, as as I. I'll act like I wasn't going for her and actually going for the lightsaber, even though, even though I was going for her. And I'd be like, you know, you were always better with the force than a lightsaber. So let me just go ahead and get that out of the way. And <laughs> just basically cut her lightsaber right down the middle and break it. Yeah, well, you kind of make like, you, like make this upstroke and it pulls it out of her hand as it, it goes into two different pieces. You see like blue sparks uh, shooting out of it as the two pieces just go and just... Uh, the circular ring that was around it kind of breaks into several pieces as well as it goes flying up in the air. It's almost like this slow motion where she just like in rage looks up towards it and goes, no, and it's just in pieces and just showers down. Some of them falling down off of the balcony. Her weapon is destroyed. I will say that the despair uh, for that will be uh, like i said once again you you're so focused on what you're doing that if anybody yeah. strikes at you they have an upgrade or uh on your next your next attack or whatever you do on your next turn mm -hmm. whichever comes first you'll have an upgrade on that okay gotcha all right yeah then i think that will uh i'm yeah that'd be it i'm done okay an npc goes uh, she kind of flips, uh, does these kind of like cartwheels back almost from you. And she... suffers to strain and pulls out what seems to be some kind of light pistol, light blaster and okay. just, just in range is going to fire at you. Okay. 
So short range is one purple. Uh, one black I've got on here. Black. I will dodge so it upgrades. Upgrade. You got it. Anything else? Um, Not unless she hits me. So. Okay. She fires and misses. And is going to suffer two strain in the process as well. And that's all she does on her turn. Bringing us to another PC. I, as she fired at me, I'm just going to... What? You've resorted to using a blaster now. I know, they're so uncivilized. Who would like to go next? I'll try to shoot her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Raven uh, takes offense to that comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so to fire at her, that's going to be one purple is your base, uh, one black for armor, and three upgrades for adversary three. Do I still get an upgrade for her being like ragey? Uh, yes, you do get one upgrade for that. So that would be it. That would would take that out of of play. Cool. I'm gonna take aim. Oh, yes, Christy. Uh, direct hit what? with a disruptor pistol. Christy, I'm gonna do another plus eight with the point blank and deadly accuracy. <laughs> so that's a base of 22 damage. Base of 22, right? 22 is what I've got. Or 23. Wait. I have 23 with your successes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, so 23 before Soak. Mm -hmm. Soak is going to take it down to 19. And I'll crit twice if she's still up. Huh. <laughs> Let's see if she has anything. Her lightsaber is destroyed, so she cannot reflect. That shot will put her down. Yes, yeah, Christy. <laughs> so, seeing her raging and pulling out this, and because this is a disruptor pistol, uh, the impact... Right over your shoulder, Tizo, as you're kind of wielding, getting ready to, like, charge once more, you hear that familiar sound as this blaster shot goes right over top of your head, directed down towards her, impacts right in the chest, and she stands there for a moment. The pistol kind of falls onto her finger a little bit and then falls onto the ground and rattles. And you watch as this kind of, like, blackness just starts creeping up this dark kind of almost shadowy uh veil almost seems to just start covering her flesh and she looks at you tizo and you can almost see the rage disappear from her face she just says reaches out towards you and says tizo and you watch as it just, the dark veil begins to just crackle and blacken. And then just start to fade into dust. As her robes just fall to the ground in front of you. Sorry, she was talking too much. It was annoying. <laughs> I don't say anything. Tizo doesn't say a thing. That's fine. Um, am I still within short range of the other guy? Yes. All right, I'll just go above his head. Okay. <laughs> Flying up above his head. Buzz him. Uh, <laughs> him. Yeah, literally buzz him. Buzz him. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, uh, 
the the alarm systems are just going to you guys you guys are rattled is <laughs> something kind of hits a little bit closer this time is there's like a massive explosion nearby and you guys all kind of stumble a little bit like holding on to the bent railing and things of that nature uh throughout the room and the alarms are just going nuts um we've got an npc round i gotta take one of those off and I'm going to take that NPC turn off for next turn. Uh, this guy who is remaining is looking and see, looks back and sees what happened to Kyra. Looking at all you, he seems to get in the state of anger and rage even more so than already. And he's going to make one of final strike here towards Yeska. I've got two purple, two black, and one upgrade for you being off balance for the despair last time. Anything else you can do, Yeska? Uh, no. All right. A lightsaber attack coming to Yeska. That is a success for seven unsoakable wounds. Which I will carry. Nice. And take no strain, thanks, Doc. And uh, I, I say nothing. Nothing happens. Okay. He whiffs. He whiffs. Oh, it he, deflects off of your yeah. your your armor as he comes through. Yeah, I just I, I casually uh, parry. I, I bring my molly there up and around and 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 kind of block it entirely. And I'm I'm standing very calm and very cool and comfortable. And this guy is like trying to hulk out. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm I'm the dueling master, and I can't be can't be taken down. Okay, he is going to use a maneuver to start running alongside the. He's running. He runs away from you, and he runs off the side. And just off the side of him, there is this large button. And as he's running, he slams the button, and you guys hear that big massive door. Is he facing us? start to open what? and he runs and he's going to spend two strain to take another maneuver and you can see that he's moving quickly and he's going towards one of the parked tie fighters that's on the edge of this like parked along the side if you if you saw the newer movies how the tie fighters are almost like on a platform on the side of the of the vessel they're kind of like that and he's getting up to one of those like higher tie fighters he's not there yet he's trying to he has to kind of like make his way over like the railing of the balcony making his way uh but yeah you can see he's like bolting and he's opening that door and you can feel like this rush of of atmosphere start to go <sighs> into the into the whole room it's not space because you guys are still like in the actual atmosphere of this planet Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so he's not going to try to he's suck us out in anything. Uh-uh, uh -uh. you guys... Okay, nothing. Okay. Basically... He's opening the bay doors. He's opening gotcha. the bay door. Yes, he's opening the bay doors. He's being a little coward oh. and spacing us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's... Yeah, but instantly, like, you guys can hear, there is an intense fight going on outside. You can hear uh, TIE fighters and some other kind of vessels that Dran automatically recognizes as X-Wings are in air combat right now flying around buzzing around and it almost seems like that the star destroyer is starting to move and that ends his round okay. bringing us to two pcs in a row so the two pcs that didn't go uh i want to take a shot at this at this coward okay uh, we are we're having a good fight, a good duel, and he and he ruined it. <laughs> uh, so with my with my offhand, I'm going to draw and fire, draw my uh, my my dueling blaster, and I want to try to take this guy out before you can reach the okay the, the tie fighter. So he moved one. I imagine he's moved two. So he's. He moved two range bands away from you. So he would be technically okay. at medium range right now. Alright, so I'm my thing operates at short range. Oh so wait, what does that mean? Wait, uh yeah, he moved from engaged to short, then from short to medium. Yeah, so you'd have to do a maneuver to get 
closer to him. Yeah, I'll, I'll chase after him. I'll, okay. I'll chase after, move up to short range. Okay, so that's your maneuver. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's and short range as is as one. I'm running, I'm drawing. Yeah, Once what... you get out of short range from Van, the, the strain stuff won't take effect. It's a aura, so in case. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So you'll have uh, one purple die and one black die. And then three upgrades because of adversary rating. And uh, if it's all right with everyone, I will use that last light side <laughs> to upgrade. Is that cool? Yep. Okay. I don't, I don't want to presume. And... All right. Here we go. Oh! Oh, uh, roll a blue dice by itself because that weapon is accurate. Oh, that's right. Sorry, it's been a while since I used this one. It's all good. Uh, just what? yeah, just roll one one blue. No, the the, the dice pool is messing up. Uh, no. Oh, is it the same thing I had? Hmm. Michael, could you do that for me? Yeah, I'll roll one blue if it'll allow me to. Let's see. One blue. Roll it up. Nothing. Nothing to okay. help you. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Pierce one reduces soak by one. Mm hmm. So you can only soak four of this. That's eight wounds. And you strike him in the back, and you hear him cry out in pain as this shot hits. Um, I will say that in the process, while all this wind is like starting to come in, I will say that because you're taking dead aim and you're really trying to hit this guy and you're really angry and chasing him down, you will suffer four strain for those four threats as you're chasing through this billowing wind that's going through here and firing your weapon. And he's still up, but he's injured. He just looks like he's headed for the nearest escape vessel. And then... And I'll, and I'll just turn back and, and shout to Dran. Dran, shoot him! <laughs> Bring I don't him know down! I can hit him. <laughs> Dran, it is your turn. I believe in you! Oh boy, yeah, I guess I have to. See? Oh, sorry, I forgot my accent. Imagine a Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I can hit this guy, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to... As a maneuver aim, I guess. Okay, he is... He would be within... Oh. From where you are at. Yeah. It's sideways. So it'd be medium range. So it'd be two oh, purple... Uh, Blaster pistols, mediums, so yeah, that's... Two purple would be your base. Uh, one... Now, because of the nature of him, do I have to upgrade a bunch of stuff? Yeah, you will th upgrade three times because of adversary okay. three, and you will add a black die because of his armor. Because I'm afraid of him. And a, a, a two black die. Armor and you're afraid. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but I am going to aim. Um, and we'll see how this works as I point the blaster at him and hope that it... I'm just checking something real quick. Oh, I have accurate on here because of all of uh All of work Raven's Raven work, yeah. You got a blue so, boost on that, yeah. Add those. Did not pass the boost to you at some point? Does that... Yeah, but did that expire? Yeah, probably. Did that expire? Yeah, never mind, sorry. I'm just been. trying to think about it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's it. YOLO! It hits! Oh. It okay. hits! So this would be... Yes, suck it. 12 soakable damage, but it's pierced 2. So, so it's actually only 10 of it is soakable. 2 of it is... 10 of it is... Unsoakable. So... Pierced 2. 10 of it is soakable, 2 of it is pierced, so... Okay, 10 of it is soakable.
The strike hits. Um, you see some of the armor of his uh, robes and plates that he is wearing, kind of these heavy plates on his shoulders, seems to soak up just a glimmer of it. He almost falls off the edge of this railing as he's barely hanging on to the side. There's almost like this grate that goes along the side of where these TIE fighters are parked. You can see him, like, falter and fall. And he looks down and he's like, No. 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 Not that easy. He is right at his threshold. He is still oh, up. still up. But okay. barely. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I think I used everything I can. That is the end of my... End of your turn? Turn. All yeah, right. I know. He maneuvers towards the TIE Fighter. <laughs> like, probably you said he's hanging off the edge, like he pulls himself up. Yeah, he pulls himself up and he starts climbing up. Is, is like... Is like him pulling himself up his only maneuver? Well, but he is going to suffer two strain. And he's oh, going nice. to open the hatch of the TIE Fighter and hop inside. And you see him. You can see him through the, the glass. He's like looking up and he starts going. And you can see that the TIE Fighter is starting to engage. Uh, but that's all he can do on this free turn. It is a PC's turn. And the door is almost fully open down below. And you can see zinging by. TIE Fighters chasing X-Wings. X-Wings spinning around doing barrel rolls, like firing their, <laughs> their blasters at them boys. That's a, <laughs> you see a massive explosion as one TIE Fighter goes, <laughs> and then just starts spinning down towards the uh, the planet. Any PC can go. Um, I have a jetpack. I, I think I, I, want to, I want to take this guy out. Um, I want to... Do uh, you know, just book it, uh, holstering my pistol as a run, uh, golden lightsaber flashing in the air as I use my momentum to place my foot on the railing of this catwalk and launch myself into the air, trying to channel as much of Tizo as I can. <laughs> and I want to try to stab my lightsaber down into this cockpit and land on top of this this TIE fighter before it can take off. Okay, I will say this. It will take you two maneuvers to get there, so you're going to have to suffer two strain. Just I'm, from where I'm you're at, that. as you jump off of there, um, yes. Go ahead and make a, a lightsaber attack. Okay. Against what him. do I need to do for that? It's, it's going to be two purple, three, or three or four upgrades. Two purple, three upgrades. I believe that you have a critical injury that raises yours up one purple. Right. So you'll have that against you, and there's and, one black setback. And one black setback. Yep. And you, you just from you just received a player inspiration from Sister Skull Kid, meaning you can up oh, you thanks. can you can upgrade your attack. Upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Here we go, and I'm gonna add a Makachi flourish. I think this definitely counts as a flourish. Oh yeah. Um, yes. So I will. I will add my uh, my force die to this, and hopefully, I can get some criticals. Oh, Sister Skull Kid, crossing their fingers for this. All right, I do it. <laughs> it succeeds. Seven unsoakable damage. Two advantages. Uh, I have two advantages, so I will, I, I will, I will crit because I have the the one from here, an automatic one from my lightsaber. So I will crit, and I will use uh, two of uh, the left side uh, force pips because I can't flip any or destiny points. Okay, uh, you add twenty. A critical injury and also so your your 
your attack automatically makes him unconscious. So you could spend your other two advantages that you have because you have an automatic advantage with your curved hilt lightsaber plus the one that you have. So you can crit plus 30 because of going unconscious. Yes, please. Didn't roll very high, but with one okay. strike right through the glass, the lightsaber just goes flying through the front of, uh, you see Yeska just jumping off this, leaping in slow motion, curved hilt lightsaber just facing the front of the TIE fighter and just drives it through. And Yeska, you're sitting there, you can see that the there's cracks starting to form around where your lightsaber has just impacted through with ease and it's starting to like melt away there where the heat from your lightsaber goes through the glass and you're just looking into this chiss's eyes and they're just open wide you can start to see like almost like tear glands starting to swell up in his face as your lightsaber is just right through his chest and he just sits there for a moment stunned <sighs> How? Impossible. And then he just slumps. I'll, I'll just like look, at, and I'll just look at him, and like as his as I see the light fade from his eyes, I'll just say, "Nothing is impossible with the force." And that takes us out of encounter, but not out of the action. As right there's now, there's only room in this town for one chiss. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Yeska. Nice. So here is what I want to do. You guys are still kind of in an action sequence here, as there is a massive battle happening outside of this vessel, and you can hear all of a sudden the female voice comes up. Uh, Critical injury detected. Critical damage detected. Critical injury detected. Critical damage detected. Emergen may be going down. Emergency sequence activated. Emergency sequences activated. And all these like alarms are just going off. And you can see um, now that the doors are starting to like... Some of the bay doors are starting to open like all around. You can see like stormtroopers just running in panic all around. Like they're just ignoring everything and just it's just scattering people are just running around uh, everywhere within the vessel can i quickly just shoot the bodies just to be sure they're dead dead before i go find a ship to jump into sure yeah uh, there's only one body remaining right because all the other ones were disintegrated yeah i'll shoot that one just for good measure yeah uh, so as as yeska like steps away uh raven and it just like <laughs> blasts inside of the uh the TIE fighter, and there's just blackened dust and all these, like, blaster uh, Im imprints in the seat. Uh, it looks like just somebody just started blasting away at the seat, and the in inside of the, the soft covering of the seat is just, like, sprayed out all through the inside of the TIE fighter. How many ships are in this docking bay? Uh, there looks like there's, Ours like... Ours here? Uh, yours is not. Remember, you sent uh, no, yeah. your friends out. Yeah, yeah, we we got ship. knocked off. There are TIE fighters. How many? I think, yeah, how many? About two dozen. Ow. Enough for all of us! <laughs> yeah, I say we get in and join the fight outside with the Rebels. Well, but the problem is, if we are in the TIE Fighters, and the Rebels outside are shooting the TIE Fighters... But if they see us shooting we not the TIE down? Fighters, and we use, um... The, cor the transponder signal on the rebel frequency, yeah. they might be able to pick it up if we're shooting at ourselves. Yeah, well, we can we send them our ID. We can blast send them. Out rebel ID. Okay. I know some of the codes. So. Yeah, like a. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I, it'll I work. I can't promise like, anything. <laughs> yeah. We All right, well, let's mount up. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to find myself a ship. I'm going to find this undamaged TIE fighter. I, this, one's, this one's done. Like as this chaos is going, you all are have yeah. Okay. You all have you, you're having this conversation, and you'll you turn around to to look at Tizo, and he's I'm just laying or kneeling on the ground, holding her cloak. 
not moving. I just just staring at the cloak. Tizo, we need to move. I guess I truly am the last one from the temple now. And just drop the cloak. As I look up with that nasty scar still, you can see tears coming down my face. Let's go. I'll, I'll slowly walk over to a TIE fighter. <laughs> As you start to walk over towards the TIE fighter, you look down and to the left of you, you see the mask that she was wearing. That skull-like features. You're not alone, though. I quickly ignite my lightsaber and just do a quick slash across it so it's in four different pieces now even though it was already cracked and kind of just destroy it more. You got it. Let's get out of here, boys. Just as Raven's about ready to get into one of these TIE fighters, you hear a sound and you look down to where the opening part is and you see a familiar ship pulling into the docking bay in a hurry. It's Vera with the Phoenix. Oh, shit. And she busts in, and you can see her inside, and she's got, like, her comms running. She's like, let's get ready and get in, all right? Just get in. We didn't uh, get we didn't get too far. Plan. Let's <laughs> let my girlfriend pick us up. <laughs> we will head to the Phoenix, then. And really, like, she doesn't even land the thing. Like, she kind of pulls up beside where oh, you guys are hovering. The... The jetpack help him up. And Cat is like standing hey, there, nerds. like holding out his arm <laughs> towards you guys, and you like grab and you just like, jetpack up to the the landing platform of the opening bay here, and you guys all just climb up. Cad Solis kind of helping you up through uh, Vera's father at the top, just like kind of pulling you guys up as you make your way into the Phoenix and the platform, the 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 landing skid there, it just flies up to a close, and Vera zings down out into the fray where you just see flashes of orange and green out within the atmosphere and you can see as you're zinging by the star destroyer is trying to get up and gain uh, uh altitude up into the uh, outer atmosphere but it looks like several of its engines have been damaged and you can see there is larger rebel vessels all around and it's a massive kind of like air battle but the rebels outnumber the Imperials heavily, and you can see TIE fighter after TIE fighter just going up into flames and smoke. Pieces of them just flying everywhere. It's just these slow motion effects of TIE fighters exploding and pieces of them just going everywhere and falling down towards the surface of this planet. And Vera just kind of zings towards those vessels, being in a familiar um, vessel that the Rebel Alliance already knows. You guys are zinging by without a problem. Uh, make a piloting, uh, make a co like a piloting check for me as Raven jumps up in to help Vera kind of co-pilot. Okay. Um, and I'm just, this is going to be a difficulty of uh, two purple. <laughs> Sister Skull Kid, get in, nerds! We're taking down the Empire. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh yeah, piece of cake. You're weaving in and out of all this chaos that's happening, but you guys can all clearly see that the Rebel Alliance has the upper hand in this fight. And then as you get away from this, and Vera and Raven working together, flying the Phoenix, kind of turn around, you guys can see out of the cockpit. You watch as the Star Destroyer starts just to slowly change its traje trajectory. Flames just shooting out the back. Smoke trails coming out as this thing heads down towards the planet. And you watch one massive explosion as it hits ground. We're not capturing that one. And it's, it looked like it took several hits. <laughs> 
What was that? Say again, Yeska. Oh. Uh oh. Gone full droid. He's gone full yep. droid. We're yep. him. Completely no. frozen. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Is he back? He's oh. trying. <laughs> <laughs> He's got something really good to say, too. I know it. <laughs> and as this explosion happens, this battle comes to an end. Things settle down. The TIE fighter or the TIE fighters, the ones that are left, make an attempt to retreat, but now without their vessel. It's hard to say how far they'll get. Most of the rebels just kind of let them flee, knowing that eventually they don't get picked up. They're going to be a goner. <clears throat> and the X-Wings return, closing their extended wings and make their way into docking on these larger rebel uh, ships. You guys have kind of like a moment here as you're driving the Phoenix towards a docking bay on one of the larger vessels. I hit myself with a stem. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, Raven. I was caught in a no, moment. No, you're fine. I'm, I'm fine. I can't believe we survived that. I don't know how we did. We almost lost you again. Both of you. How are we doing? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> speaking chiss. <laughs> <laughs> Is the translator working? <laughs> Not the translator. It never works. <laughs> that's that's yeah. That's that's the issue. It's the translator. Oh. oh. Yeah. What kind of damage is going to happen on the surface? He's right. Yeah, city size ship impacting the surface probably did a number. When you video. when you looked at it though, it didn't the the it was moving away, so it didn't land on the city. You're gonna get the forest and all those monkeys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it landed in the jungle, so yeah, there's <laughs> silver lining. <laughs> probably took out some monkey lizards. That's right. <laughs> it was all for the best. <laughs> <laughs> um. Eventually, you guys board one of these larger rebel vessels. And you are met with thundering applause as you get off of the Phoenix. As there are several individuals that are dressed in orange and white. Some holding flight helmets to their side and cheering all of you. As you get off and you can hear uh, the people that you saved that were still on your vessel that were unable to be, because uh, it's happened so quickly, they were unable to get to safety whenever all this happened. But they are just coming off of this seeing and you can see just the joy and happiness in all of their faces as there's this, this sigh of relief among all of them. They are no longer held in the custody of those individuals, some for more time than others. But some of them just come up to you and just embrace you in a hug. You hear the roaring applause in the background just of all these individuals clapping and cheering for you. I'm going to put my hand on Tiza's left shoulder and just squeeze as we kind of look at everybody. You did good. And we're alive. I'll be fine. Just need some time. Yeah, not yet. Not right away. <laughs> but you will be.
Um, Dran, you hear somebody shout from a platform up above. Dran! Dran! Oh, it is you! <laughs> and uh, you look up and um, there is a, uh, a Syrian. They kind of have almost like a cone-like shape cone to head, their head. Yeah. Co- the cone heads uh, of, of the Star Wars but wearing uh, confusion, like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can, yeah. They are. I had an image of one somewhere. I'll have to see if I can find it. Um, you recognize this individual as Captain uh, Lad Dulian, um, one of a uh, uh, captains of one of the vessels here, and uh, he is kind of just super excited. And he looks down. <laughs> Thank goodness you've kept. You've been keeping your communication lines open. It's been a. Uh, E- easy to track this uh this down hey thank you sandbagger three for the subscription we appreciate that yeah. <laughs> love you guys um but the captain starts walking down these uh metal steps towards you and uh just kind of like comes up to you and just embraces you in a hug and pats you on the back a few times and surprisingly you know, he's pretty tall too so he's kind of like towering over you Ugh. Commander Pora here, and there's a uh, human individual, uh, African American human individual that kind of steps by next to you. Uh, Pora here had had some doubts in your abilities, but I never doubted you one bit, Dran. Pora's like, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> Remember this? And he kind of like gives you like a little punch on the on the arm, and the the Syrian's like, oh, listen, um, you know. About the about the new base, uh, the admiral uh, sent a message to us, and uh, well, kind of needs some help overseeing some security measures. Thought maybe you'd be the right person for the job. New base, huh? Been looking for a long time. Mm. Well, we think we found a really good one this time. The Empire, won't find this one, yeah. they won't find this one. Not a chance. Well, take some time to think about it. Rest up, would you? I will. And get your, get your friends something to eat. Yeah, they, they, it's been a, it's been a long road. <sighs> You smell that, Dren? Smells like victory. Oh, it does. He just looks off into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> and then swiftly turns around and starts walking back up the steps. And this uh, uh, commander next to him just looks in that direction with a quizzical look for a second. And then looks at you and then turns around and follows him along. Love that guy. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the rest of you are there. Cad is with you. Um, Vera and her father. What do you guys do? Raven wants a beer and probably a death stick. Are you sure you want that stick? <laughs> yeah, she is like, uh, that was a day. That's like, it feels like this whole month has been one long day. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you uh, you guys kind of make your way to what would be like, kind of like, like a break room sort of thing. And there's like a full spread of, of uh, things to eat out and about. Raven has herself a death stick. She's kind of leaning up in the corner, just relaxing and just. And probably at least three beers. Okay, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will board the Phoenix and just go to my chambers. Okay. I'm just sitting there. Check on the eggs. <laughs> okay. And just spend some time by myself for a little bit. Okay. a couple drinks in, I would say Raven, Yeska I don't know what to do About what, dear? I've received a new assignment 
Oh. It's going to take me pretty far away. How far is far? Well, I can't tell you it's classified, but... <laughs> is it classified if we're allowed to come with you? Or is that a no-go either? That's a good question. I guess... Because uh, I'm worried about Tizo. Me too. And I made a promise to him that... I would watch out for him. I mean, I feel like that goes all the way around here between the four of us. We've been through a lot. Some more than others. I would like True. to stick together if possible. And if we do split up, I feel like at least two and two. Just someone needs to be with Tizo for a while. Yeah, I, uh, he's been getting darker lately. Yeah. Uh, that battle was really, like, intensely dark. I think we all had to dig deep to win. But at what cost? Yeah. It's always a cost. If you if you all would go with me, I I I, I imagine I can get security clearance. Uh, do you think Tizo should we? I feel like we need to give him a few days at least before we even give him. I don't know how soon you need to answer this assignment, but if we could give him maybe a few days, right? He's been injured. He's got a critical injury, so we gotta <laughs> make sure everyone's healed before we go any further. A little bit of a reprieve, and then maybe breach the subject with him as a group? Yeah, I'm sure I can maneuver a little bit of shore leave. Yeah, shore leave sounds nice. Well deserved. At this point, yeah. Yes, guy, I know your translator is a bit wonky right now, but how are you feeling about all this? Are you, are you keen to go with the doctor? Are you keen to stay together? Or are you, do you have other plans? He's currently making Chiss. Uh, I think into his translator right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah he's translating for me. Uh, <laughs> Brand's like leaning in, trying to see what he's writing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any current plans. All right. Mm -hmm. So I take that as you're open to possibilities. Oh, he would go anywhere with us. Chat. <laughs> Give him the shoulder thing. And I with you. <sighs> this is getting too mushy. I need another beer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say that we will do a quick Star Wars swipe. <laughs> he slaps Dran lovingly. <laughs> <laughs> Loving slap. Yushka. My skin is sensitive outside the water. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's a chest thing. He won't get it. <laughs> At the sound of the slap, we'll do a quick Star Wars uh, <laughs> screen wipe. <laughs> and, and here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say basically like you guys get an extended rest here. Uh, now, the fleet is continuing to move, so they are in space. You guys are flying with them. Uh, aboard their their vessels but i will say that any injuries any strain any critical injuries that you have suffered are completely healed uh, from this rest and from this opportunity the back um, the tanks. Yeah, yeah yeah they got tanks so you guys are all good <laughs> um it does however come to a point where a decision is going to need to be made because there needs to be transportation set up, safe transportation set up for you, Dran, if you choose to do this. Um, they've got to get you there without you being followed or noticed, and they they have a special way that they want to make sure that they have you protected as well. Um, the captain comes up to you. He actually uh, requests that you come to the, you know, the, the, the bridge of this vessel uh, during one of these times and 
as you come up to the bridge, it opens and closes behind, and you can see that he's he and the, the commander here aboard this vessel are the only two there, and he looks at you and says, So, the rumor has it that uh, you and your friends are quite special. Is that they true? They are. They are? In terms of being extraordinary fighters and companions, yes. Well, it's, um... It just so happens that a very important person may want to uh, meet with your friends. The invitation has been extended to all of your friends to join you if they choose. Have you heard about the hero? You, you mean the one who... Yes. The one who destroyed the Death Star. Death Star. He wants to meet your group. Oh, what an honor. Oh, like, by the way, like... I heard he's the best pilot in the galaxy. Oh, by far. Although I know someone who would give him a run for his money. Who's that? Companion of mine. Well, then they must... teach him a thing or two about how to fly. Well, then they must meet. You think they will? Could you, could you make it happen? Could you arrange that? Oh, it's... As long as they agree to it, it's already set. Alright, I'll go see if they have any availability. Alright. Be quick about it, though. We're running out of time. Sir... <laughs> Wrong. Cheek <laughs> sky bopper? <laughs> I love it. Um, Dran runs to find all of you. Where would he find? Uh, <laughs> I love it, Jim. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, who I would still be on the ship. Still be on the so, ship. Uh, Dran, who yeah. would you who would you run off to first? Well, I try to find Raven because she'll probably have corralled people to some extent, or or not. We'll see. <laughs> or she's in the bar. It's a win win. Uh, I think she's been probably hanging out with all the other Mandalorians, kind of like because she's been a bit homesick. Um, but probably getting closer to now, she's probably back on the ship, just keeping an eye on Tizo. Yeah. They'll probably burst onto the ship. Oh. Guys, guys, where are you? Are you here? Are you here? <laughs> I'm in the cockpit. What's up? Who wants to meet a war hero? And it's not me. What? We have an invitation to meet somebody pretty fantastic. He Supposedly he's heard about us and he wants to meet us and not in the way that the that last bunch wanted to meet us. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's this hero? Look down Death Star. Oh shit! They say one of the best pilots in the galaxy. Ah, uh, one of those types, huh? Yeah, I've heard he's a little full of himself, but you know, <laughs> I'm sure he's a good guy. That's not surprising. Anyway, I if if you all and is Tizo over there? Is Jessica there? Where is everyone? Uh, I think I, I, I would Tizo. come walking out. Tizo wasn't out there. He is. He was. He was in his room. I think. Uh, Jessica is flirting with Vera somewhere, I believe. Mm. I would say that they're 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 present for this, but you can see that they are they are kind of cuddly cuddly here. 
Oh, uh, the war hero. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, there they are. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how much of Jim, uh, Jim. I I hope he can hear what I'm saying. So, uh, basically, uh, we don't have to role play all this out because I know that you can't like kind of role play back right currently. But Vera would say that there is an offer that if you guys want to go to the their planet that they could always use capable warriors and you're more than welcome to join them as well oh damn they're suddenly really popular today (laughs) everybody wants a piece of the (laughs) complicates things But she does look at look at you all and say, you know, whatever decision is made that she is just extremely grateful for what you guys were able to help her with and accomplish. That's girlfriend for you. Better do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we were to go with, meet this hero, and depending what he wants from us, I don't think there's anything wrong with coming back to help you and yours whenever you're ne- whenever it's needed. Like I don't feel like we're gonna be too far away that we can't be able to help you at some point. I feel like this this connection should last longer than just a contract. agree considering and i kind of like look at vera and then look at yeska i'm like considering (laughs) how are you feeling (laughs) for the time being i will follow you all to wherever this is however i am not much of a rebel so i do not know how long i'll stay there but I always follow until then. I don't see any harm in seeing what this hero wants. At the very least, we can start from there. And if we like what we hear, it might change our minds. And if not, we have this. I mean, remember the last, so maybe the first time we were all summoned somewhere on that temple? Things kind of unravel quickly around us, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I agree with what Yeska said. Let's go meet this hero. So-called pilot. As Tizo says that, um, we all have another quick swipe and you guys are all aboard the phoenix just you four and dran you're given some top secret top secret coordinates and like a... covering the screen <laughs> <laughs> you guys, i'm sorry i just can't show you did you get a promotion is your rank up well, those, they're a little stingy with those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're getting paid more, at least. I haven't had a raise in years, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to work on that. <laughs> yeah. It's for the cause. It's, you know... <laughs> but, um, you guys are aboard the Phoenix, looking out the space, and you guys hear the final calls from these vessels, and you hear that voice uh, coming over the comms of the, the captain. Ah, Dread. Good luck to all of you. May the force be with you. Mm. And also with you. (laughs) And at that point, you guys start to type in your coordinates. And as Raven takes control of the helm, Looks at all of you with a a grin under the helmet. Unless she has her helmet off, I'm not sure. I think she has her helmet off by now. Looks at you all with a grin. 
Notice that most of them aren't wearing their seat belts. I pull. I, I punch it. I punch it. <laughs> I punch it. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys just see. You guys just see the back of the phoenix like glow blue, and you see the elongated lines of the stars from behind, and then the phoenix just goes <laughs> and disappears out of existence. And that's where we'll end this campaign. Star Wars, no. Force and Destiny. Let's do it again! <laughs> when does the next one start, Michael? <laughs> well done. Well done, my friends and heroes of the galaxy.